Finch Bays. So I'm on my little AM drive or whatever. And I wasn't gonna pick up the camera because I'm like, I'm always in a car. But I had this epiphany where the car is the only time I'm by myself, right? And that's okay. As long as I do get some by myself time because I'm very introverted, but I can be extroverted. And that just means I enjoy me time. I refill on me time. I refuel on me time because I'm a giver. And so, like I said before, you know, I don't, I have no problem looking for stuff for other people, but when I'm sitting and looking for stuff for me, it's just like a waste of time to me, it feels like. Um, Cause then I could be doing something, you know, more constructive than looking for myself clothes or something like that. But I'm a giver. And so when I'm in the presence of people, I'm a pleaser. I like to make people feel comfortable. And so when I'm, I'm with my kids most of the time, so I want to make sure I'm the, the funny mom and the heavy mom and da, 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 and just joking and stuff because I just like to give my kids a lot of me, all of me, because I don't want them to, like I see people on social media, on television, on wherever, and they're always giving their parents a beef about something. And I don't really have a beef about my parents. The only thing I always tell them is you're never too old to grow. You know what I'm saying? But they're great parents. I don't have anything, you know, wrong to say. And I feel like, but parents sometimes don't realize they're human, right? So they're not perfect. Your intentions sometimes get lost because of how the person on the receiving end felt about what you did or said. So then the intentions get lost. So then you can't just say, well, I didn't mean it like this. I didn't mean it like this. I didn't. That's not going to help the situation. You just got to say, you know what? I apologize. I didn't. Because if you truly didn't mean it like that, then you should have no problem apologize because for how they feel. I apologize for making you feel that way. Anyways, I'm such a giver, you know, and then when I'm spending time with my husband, I want to make sure that, you know, I'm listening to everything that's happened in his day. I'm rubbing his back because he's that, that's his love language. He likes touch. He's a, you know, most men like touch. Most men are babies. They're babies in that sense of just wanting to be touched, you know, so I'm, I'm rubbing his back and I'm making sure, you know, and I'm listening and we're spending time and we're catching up on a series or whatever we're doing and y'all know y'all have seen plenty of videos breakfast lunch done you know what i'm saying for him when he leaves for the day i'm just that and, and i also had that as an example at home so i knew how to be an asset to an asset you know what i'm saying i know how to be an asset to an asset but also i'm a scorpio and scorpios it takes a lot of energy to do all of those things. You know what I'm saying? Because we're so like, like I'm okay with being by myself. You know what I'm saying? So you need those car rides by yourself sometimes where you just like, or you just, some. I be ducked off my room sometimes, but my kids come in my room all day long. They come in my room all day long, which is fine. I want them to come in my room. I want them to talk to me. I don't want them to ever grow up and say, I couldn't talk to you or whatever. So I always, that's what I overcompensate for. Like, what do people complain about their parents about? Okay, let me not do that. Okay, let me not do this. Let me not do that. Let me be more open and so that they can be more open. And let me not, um, let me humanize me. Because I'm not just this big, strong, superior over you. That's like the corporation of, the, of America. I'm not, that's not my vibe. My vibe is, you know, I've created a village. And the village... We have to trust each other. We have to find solace in each other's company. We need to know each other and appreciate each other. And that's why I appreciate all the time that we spend together and that we're not everybody's minds or everywhere else doing all these different things. We're on one accord. You know what I'm saying? So I just was saying that to say that it's okay, Blake. Yeah, you. Yeah, this is the only time you get time alone, but some people don't get time alone at all. And so I appreciate my couple hours. You should say stuff out loud to yourself, like what you're proud of. 
some of you might have accomplished, but I'm proud of myself for this surge of just getting it done, getting it done, getting it done. Cause sometimes then I'll be low energy and then I'm high energy and then I'm low. So maybe it might be because <laughs> I haven't been really, well I did have, I had the burger place yesterday, but all week we haven't had any starch. I'm gonna keep it going because I wanna see some like changes on the camera. Like I know the camera adds pounds cause I be looking at myself in real life and I'm like, I don't look that, I don't look that fat in person why do i look so freaking fat and on the camera so i am going to i want to keep going until i see a change on the camera then you know you know you know what i'm saying so y'all gonna see me like mm -hmm. so anyways that's what's going on i'm about to go in here and get my starbucks but make sure you guys like comment and subscribe Make sure you, if you're introverted, make sure you make some time for yourself if you can. And, you know, just sit. Just sit and be. And breathe. And enjoy. Alright guys, I'll see you in another video.